Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another one. It's windier than I thought it was out here. Uh, today, actually tomorrow is auction day, but you know, this video is about the auction. And I have to thin out my Tom turkeys. There are just too many of them. We gotta thin it out. I'm gonna keep two of every species, or not species, every variety. So two of the Royal Palms, two of the Bourbon Reds, and two of the Blues. Everyone else, Tom Wise, has to go. Probably get rid of some geese also. Kind of picking and choosing right now today. Not sure what I want to get rid of. Thought about getting rid of all the guineas. Thought about getting rid of most of the chickens. I don't know. I'm not sure what I'm going to do. But anyway, I'm going to get to catching. We'll see how this all goes. I'll show what I end up with. I don't know if one's better than another one. They all look pretty similar. This is going to be harder than I want it to be. You don't like it because you're all alone. Ooh, I know, cheat code. <laughs> all right, resist that. Not you or you. Get out of here, Seamus. That guy's a dominant Tom. Maybe I'll keep him. He's a little dark might get rid of the dark tom there of course they're never this afraid of me when i'm just walking around though how do you guys know how far my arms reach okay here's my new plan kind of like you i want to get rid of you i think man it's like they know i hate this okay uh, I will catch something. Actually, I've already caught one. I caught one slate a little bit ago. Got him, uh, I'm gonna pull this out and lock him up out here. It's a good holding cage for now, though. Ah, uh, I forgot that I turned the camera off. Well, I got one of the Royal Palms. Uh, there we go. Go ahead and get him put in a holding cell. See if we can get another one. Hopefully on camera this time. Figure as often as I have a camera in my hand, I remember to turn it on. Why are you staying that far away, bud? Got him. Calm down, dude. There we go. Guy. My boy. Ugh. Uh. I'm still calling him Bond right now. You guys had some good names. We might open it up again, but. He's doing good, he's adapted pretty well. But baby goat here, well as you can see. All right, so the big one there, that was our first baby goat. That is the last survivor of the triplets. <sighs> Bum deal on the triplets. The one I think got too cold, the other one I think got laid on. It was a bad deal. I guess stuff happens. Really hate it, because it was triplet girls. It was so awesome. They were so cool. And they were full blood boars. They're going to be good goats. It would be perfect for what I need. Uh, but I still have one. It is what it is. Uh, hopefully the rest of the goats drop some kids soon. So far we're four for four on girls though. That can't keep up. That'd be cool if it did. But I have one bronze turkey that needs caught also. There we go. There we go. Let's get him out of here. Okay, I'll come pet you. Come. Come, 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 come. Yeah, I wouldn't get rid of you. Hi. Hi, dude. Hi, yeah. You guys? You guys are the best. Oh, yeah, go. You guys are the best. The best. Oh, they're so loud. Yeah, I know, but we love you. I do think that white Chinese should go too, though. I'll have to get rid of him. I'm sorry, man. This isn't supposed to feel the way it does. Where are you going? <laughs> sorry, bud.
If I had more than one white Chinese and the rest are African, they're not brown Chinese, I would keep him. But they're all running together. I don't need that many crossbreeds. This blue hen happens to have a white, well, she has some white feathers on her. I really don't prefer that. So we're gonna see if we can eliminate her as well. I know it happens, but there's a few white flecks here. She just doesn't match up with the rest of the hens. Uh, so I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna get rid of her. I have four other slate hens, so it'll be okay. Well, I have the birds pretty worked up. I don't wanna freak them out too much more, so I'm gonna let them rest for a while. They're pretty freaked out, and some of those birds are my friends, and I don't want them to hate me all the time. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna let them rest for a bit. All right, well, it's the next day. Didn't catch as many birds as I wanted to, um, so I'm not selling quite as much stuff as I thought I would, but you know, there's always next month. Uh, I will show you, I had my dad take the birds down to the auction ahead of time because I had to work this morning and so I wasn't gonna be able to get them there. Turns out they're really, really close to the front of the line. I was kind of hoping to be a little bit further back, you know, maybe the end of the first line or beginning of the second line, but hey, they're there. At least don't have to be all the way at the end, which typically stuff goes for a little bit cheaper then because not everyone wants to hang around that long. Uh, anyway, we're on our way to the auction. I will pick it up when we get there. Thinking about trying something a little bit different instead of showing the birds all the time, uh, working a little bit of actual live auction footage. Um, might try some of that. If I do, I need to get your guys' take on it because I need to know if you guys like it, don't like it. So anyway, uh, yeah, I'll talk to you guys when I get there. Well, we're here, let's go see what we can see. So when my dad dropped off, there were rabbits right here, but apparently someone didn't want to be first. So these are some of my dad's chickens here. Looks like uh, they've been laying a bunch of eggs while uh, we were chilling out here. This one's mine. The next few cages here are mine. Only bronze turkey I have. Didn't need it. Needed to get rid of a few of the geese. I didn't want to get rid of the white Chinese geese, but it felt like he was super attached to me anyway. And the others, I'm not sure, there might be a pair in there. I hope not. And the Royal Palm Toms. Uh, a trio going the wrong way. Okay guys, real quick, uh, I just want to jump in here and I need you guys to tell me first what you guys thought of the little live auction part in there. Uh, if I should do a little bit more of that, mix them in every once in a while. Tell me what you guys think, loved it, hated it. I really would love your input on it. Uh, for you guys that are looking for farm videos, pigeon type videos and stuff, they are coming up. As you saw, the farm still is a mess. There's stuff all over the place. That's the main reason I haven't been filming there is because I have a lot of cleanup to do and time is pretty short for me to get everything I want done done, especially with you know, full-time job, putting in 60 hours at least a week at the shop and then trying to film and edit for YouTube on top of that and then do everything else. I don't have as much time to do 
some of those things that I need to get done that I am. So uh, there will be some coming up. I just have to try and carve out a little bit of time. But days are getting longer, so there will be a little bit more time for that. Uh, anyway, this was a huge auction. Huge, 10 rows of stuff. Wow, so much. I'm gonna have to break it up into several videos, but there was a ton of people and it got kind of confusing depending on how far away I was standing when I was trying to write down prices. So I did my best to get the prices correct. I'm not gonna guarantee that all the prices are gonna be there or that I you know, could hear accurately depending, it was a big crowd, but you know, I did the best I could. So hope you guys enjoy the video. Got a hen, dwarf doe. Another dwarf doe. Last auction, these are going for like two, three bucks. See what they go for this year. <laughs> this year. See what they go for this sale. We're right before Easter, so uh, it wouldn't surprise me if they go for expensive. Buff Drake. Let's see what we got here. Hatching eggs. Welsh Harlequin. Silver Apigard. I might have to pick these up. One guinea. Some more hens. Now, that one's so cage. This one not more. <laughs> Just because I haven't told you guys yet, all the animals here, everything is sold by the piece. So if these go for five dollars, that's five dollars each, unless they say otherwise. Cage does not sell unless it says sell. So. Just so you guys have an idea what the numbers are popping up on the screen here. We got a rooster there. What do we got? Four does. I recognize these cages from my side. It doesn't want to lift up. <clears throat> what do we got here? More does. Seven of them in there. A couple of bucks. Well, three of them, a few of them, I should say. Yeah, I got you, bud. Uh, year and a half old hens laying well. Ooh, these are pretty. Not that I need more pigeons right now. Look like maybe some rollers. I don't see any info. What can you tell me? Not a lot, other than there's ten of them. If they're cheap enough, maybe I'll buy them. I don't have that many pigeons right now because I got rid of a bunch of them. Just grain's expensive. Uh, Holland Lops. A couple of does. They just weaned litters. Open does. Also, same story pretty much. Bard and a buff. Big old lavender here. That's a big boy. What do we got? Silver Martin? Ooh. Look at Rex's. Pretty guy. Another doe and a rooster. More bunnies. Guineas. Muscovies. If these go as cheap as they did last time, I'm buying them. I don't care. I should have bought a bunch last time, and I didn't. I'm gonna kick myself for that. Polish. I bet these sell for good money. Big money. Sell the cage. More bunnies. Hey, little dude. Okay. So this is some stuff that got added onto the first row that I didn't realize was here. So, got a couple more geese. More hens. Remember the Polish? Can I remember the Polish? I don't know. Might have already seen this stuff. If not, I'll just jump to more. Nerdy ducks. I guess I don't remember seeing these guys. Those are some tiny little pigs. Like, 
We even have all the bottle feeding equipment here. No, please don't eat me. I just wanted to give you a little head scratch. Yeah. I do not need little biggies. They are kind of cute. Tiny. I mean, tiny, tiny. I just touched your nose. Why would you? <laughs> all right. Three little piggies. Oh my god. Ooh. Pea fowl. I'm not good enough with pea fowl. I'll tell you if they're male or female. I'm guessing probably males. Pretty though. Blue Swedish. Not that I need more ducks, but it'd be kind of fun to have some more. Khaki drakes, ruined hens. Ruins basically are giant mallards, domestic version, bigger. They look cool. Yep, here we go. Here's some more ruins. That'd be fun. Calm down there, dude. These look like the same stuff as last time was here. More of those red, probably New Zealand type. more dough. Well, I guess it doesn't say. For some reason on my peripheral, I thought it said does. Black and white. Kind of cool. Another turkey. Royal palm, identical to mine. Dwarf baby bunnies. Being this close to Easter, I bet these go for silly money. Kind of like these Dutches here. I like Dutch rabbits. I really like the blue Dutches, but these are cool. Black star laying hens. Bet they go for what? 16? 18? Some more. And a bunch of eggs. But buck and a half. Something like that. Black Australarps. Black Dutch. I am not familiar with this breed really. Like I have had black rose combs. I'm guessing they're fairly similar, maybe a little bit smaller. Different comb, of course. Some more, it looks like. Oh, is that an apple yard, Drake? Looks like it could be crossbred. Got a little bit of a tuft on her head. Hey, bunny. If they go cheap again like last time, I'm buying a couple for my kids. Not that I have a place to put them or anything yet, but I'll figure it out. More bunnies. And there's bunnies everywhere. I'm not buying one like this. Big fluff ball. No thanks. This one's a doe, this one's a doe. And a buck. Hot dogs? Okay. Go whole steam Rexes. <laughs> I don't know what it is about it, but I really like that color scheme. I think it's pretty cool. These are both bucks there. Um, I can't read that. Pretty cool. <clears throat> More mini Rexes. Oh, 
in the bucket. So soft. Dough. And another dough. And a bucket. Looks like some Rhode Island Bantams. Maybe. Ooh, giant homers. These are all cockbirds here. What's up there, Chungus? Wow, you're big. <laughs> cool birds. These are all cockbirds here. Or at least according to their sign anyway that they're cockbirds. Like old oh boy there. And hence, I've had chickens smaller than these things before. I love that grizz. Oh, rabbit. Another dough. We got duck eggs. Duck eggs typically are a little bit more expensive. Chicken eggs. Some roosters. And another one. Dump your water there, bud. Oh, you guys are just lounging in the sun, huh? Hard to see you guys. <laughs> And a couple more roosters. Well guys, we made it through a whole two rows. Uh, yeah, they kind of added some stuff on that first row and so the film is a little bit weird. But anyway, first two rows are done. That is less than 20% of the sale. Yeah, there's a lot more to come. But we're over 20 minutes already. I don't want to drag this one out much longer. I will probably put out a video a week on this auction uh, until the next one because there's a lot. There's a lot to look at. There's some really cool stuff coming up. There's a donkey, baby goats. There's pheasants, quail. Uh, what else was there? More geese, ducks. It, it was a really good auction. There was a ton of stuff. Um, I, th I think you guys are going to like uh, the next ones coming up. Uh, prices got better and more consistent later on to the sale. There's there's some stuff. I mean, there are roosters going for over 40 bucks. Cool stuff to look at. Uh, but anyway... I hope you guys liked the video. You guys need to give me some feedback on this one, kind of what you like format-wise, what you'd like to see. Um, I could also, you know, do some other odds and ends stuff if you guys have some suggestions. But anyway, if you guys like the video, you guys know what to do. Thumbs up would be awesome. Subscribe if you haven't. And uh, whether you do those things or not, hopefully we'll see you on the next one.